Hey you, do you hear everyone say the word bosses and don't know what that means? Yes. Are you confused by how these bosses work in Pro? That's me. Then have no fear because a mask is here. In this video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about bosses. Yes. Yeah. First of all, let's understand what bosses really are. Simply put, they are the things Pro staff likes to nerf the most. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> uh, okay, where were we? Yes. What are bosses? Well, basically, they are in-game NPCs who can be challenged by every player, just like every other NPC in the game. Then, what's the difference? Why are they so special? The answer is because when you defeat them, they give you a bunch of cool rewards. Unlike other trainers who just drop a very small amount of money. There are over 50 of them including quest related and event island bosses located all over the map who can be identified by their red or purple colored name. Now when I say cool rewards, what do I exactly mean? Well for one I mean they are the most reliable source of income currently available in Pro. Now after listening to this, if you are thinking of going and battling them right away, Hold your horses, because it's not that simple. Before you get into defeating them, you need to understand all the rules and requirements regarding these bosses which we'll get into one by one. Let's start with requirements. First and foremost, you need to be the champion of the region the boss stays in. For example, to battle Koichi boss, which resides in Saffron Dojo in Kanto region, you need to defeat the Kanto Elite 4 and become the champion. Secondly. Some bosses also have certain hours of playtime requirements. For example, legendary quest bosses like Anti Guardian, Suiku Guardian, and Raiku Guardian. Some of them can only be accessed after completing certain quests, like George Boss after Event Move Quest and Officer Jenny after Pinkan Island Quest. And then there are some who require 6 level 100 Pokemon in your party as well. Now comes the question Can you battle all these bosses at once? The answer is Absolutely fucking not. You can only battle 20 bosses every week. And this limit resets every Monday at midnight GM. On top of this 20 boss limit, all of them except story bosses have a 12 days cooldown timer as well, which starts from the point the battle is finished no matter if you win or lose. That means you have to wait 12 days to be able to battle that same boss again. Well, duh. This is different for every boss and you can check these cooldowns by either talking to those individual bosses or by talking to cooldown checker NPC located in Celadon Office 2F, Golden Rod City House 1, Slateport City House 1 or Canalev City House 1. There is also a third and easiest option to check these cooldowns and that is by joining Pro's official Discord server and typing the command cooldown boss your account name and name of the server that is silver or gold. Next up is difficulty levels. There are three of them, easy, medium and hard. These levels determine what type of team the boss will use and what rewards it will give. Let's talk about rewards first. There are three tiers of rewards. Tier 1 rewards include common items like focus sashes, air balloons, lumberries, etc. Tier 2 includes more valuable items like PPFs, rare candy, small rain tickets, etc. Tier 3 includes rare tier Pokemon like Gibble, Dratini, Bunnelby, Scyther, and more. On top of these rewards, they also give you Poke Dollars and PVE coins. You gonna make me act up. The percentage and amount of these rewards depends on the difficulty you choose. As you can see on the screen, Easy mode gives you 5 to 10k Poke Dollars, whereas hard mode gives you 25 to 30k. Which means if you do 20 bosses in hard mode, you can get around 500k to 600k, which is a really good amount of money. Medium and hard modes also have a feature called third time reward, meaning if you defeat the same boss three times in a row, then you can choose one Pokemon from a list provided by that boss. And you can also choose if you want to have a chance to think the nature of that Pokemon or have a 1 by 4096 chance of getting it as a shiny, which is half of the normal shiny encounter rate. Now, there is a misconception that the Pokemon which you get from tier 3 rewards list can also be shiny, but that's wrong. Only third time reward Pokemon can be shiny, others are shiny logged. Imagine getting a shiny, couldn't be me. Many bosses also work as tutors of certain moves like Erika teaches Giga Drain and Lance teaches Draco Meteor, but to activate these services, you need to battle them once. Okay now. Let's talk about the reason why you can't just go and battle these bosses with 6 random Pokemon in your team, unless you want to lose. Okay. Boss teams only contain level 100 Pokemon, they are capable of using different moves, they can also switch their Pokemon like normal PvP, and their Pokemon sets depend on the level of difficulty. 
At easy mode, they have no EVs and no held items as well as a weakened moveset. While at medium, they have 252 EVs in all 6 starts and hold items too. At hard difficulty though, they have held items, a powerful moveset and 400 EVs in each start. Yes, that's right, 400 EVs, which makes them literally broken against a normal story or PvP team. Now, if you don't know how EVs and IVs impact the starts of a Pokemon, I am planning to do a video which will explain everything there is to know about Pokemon Start. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. It is completely free and will help me a lot. Also comment down below if you have any questions about the topic or any suggestions for my videos. I would love to hear from you all. Now back to the topic. On hard difficulty, the player is also not allowed to use recovery items such as revives, potions and berries. And some of the boss's Pokemons might have more than 4 moves. However, 4 moves will be randomly generated for the battle. And that's why when battling bosses on hard difficulty, you need to use specific strategies with a specific Pokemon, otherwise you'll get decimated. Finally, there are some clauses which you need to keep in mind before building a team to defeat these bosses. Number 1. Species Clause that means you can't use more than one Pokemon of the same species or same Pokedex number in your team. For example, you cannot use two Sharpedos, but you can use a Sharpedo and a Kawana as they have different Pokedex numbers. Yeah! Smeagol is banned from boss battles. Legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zamazenta are also banned from boss battles. And finally, the move Entrainment is also banned from boss battles. And that's it. You have now completely understood what bosses really are. Also, all the information which I used in the video was taken from Pro's official website wiki.pokemonrevolution.net. The link will be in the description so you can check it out to get all the information about each and every boss whether it be their specific requirements, rewards, what Pokemon they use and what items and moves they use and much more. Now I know all you little Timmies are thinking, but Amas, how do we defeat these bosses? Do not worry because I already got you. To understand everything about defeating these bosses, watch this video next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.